Hey, my name is Lembo. I'm owner at Excellent. At Excellent, we are a backyard farm that produces very top quality eggs for all your occasions. Now, with COVID-19, our business did experience a bit of a challenge. One, we were not able to do door-to-door -door deliveries and sales due to the restrictions that came with the lockdown. So that did affect us negatively. Now, with the 20,000 cash injection, that will allow us to buy a trailer. He's a hustler, unbreakable, a people's person, and a future billionaire. This is The Hustler's Corner with Smoosiso Liope, well known to you and I as DJ Smoo. Hello world, welcome to The Hustler's Corner. This is DJ Smoo straight out of Johannesburg in South Africa. We're first going to start with that um, notification gang on that sharp sharp sign on the count of one, two, three. Click that like sign, one, two, three, four, five, click, 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 thank you. I've got a young hustler right now from Wandebele in the eastern part of South Africa. Her name is Lebu Mashiko. She, she sent us um, a letter here and said, my name is Lebu Khang Mashiko. I'm founder and CEO of Excellent. I am a male and guardian to 200 young people of 2016. I'm a passionate social uh, and agripreneur. We are a small backyard egg farm. We produce and sell fresh eggs for all occasions. The business is over 380 days old and we are going very strong. We are a 100% black woman owned startup based in startup, which is based in dusty rural Guandebe. We've been profiled on SAFM and on a talk with Rams during the celebration of Youth Month. We take orders from anywhere in the country that need delivery in Kwandebele only. Shop with us on www.excellent.co.za. And with me right now, I've got the young person who is a mover and shaker and making things happen. Um, Lebu Mashiko, welcome to the Hustlers Corner, my sister. How are you doing? I'm very well, Sbu. How are you? I'm blessed. It's good to have you here. Thank you so much for the platform. The opportunity is brilliant. Thank Let's you. Let's get into your story first. I mean, who's Lebu and well, how, how was your upbringing? Um, what what shape, shape this person that we know today? Hey, she's boo. That's a very difficult question to answer. But um, I'm a 29 year old. I am very passionate and in tandem um, I I believe with am one gifted person. I've always lived in my mind. And I find with everything that I imagine Mangwas to put it into practice. I'm very powerful. Um, I was raised by a single mom and I'm also a single mother myself. My daughter motivates me. Um, I went through a very difficult time in the past and all of that shaped me to, to become this believer that I am. And everything that comes to mind, I, I, I action it. I love hearing people's background stories, some of the ups and downs that you've had to go through because our platform is for inspiring other people because people think to be an entrepreneur is something glamorous or they think maybe it's for certain individuals. They don't understand that we all actually are entrepreneurs in our own right. And you know, when we listen to other people's stories, we might identify some of the things we can relate with um, because we all have stories and we all have similarities, especially as black people. What are some of those things that you'd say were difficult that you had to overcome? that taught you to be this um, strong person? Um, so running, in fact, starting a business from scratch in a rural area, it's difficult because there are no incubation hubs here. There's no place that you can wake up and go ask for a funding or getting help to, to put down a business plan. Um, there are no people that you can actually go to and say, because you've made it happen, please mentor me. Um, so in my community, the, the other thing is that we have um, uh, your Somalians and uh, Ethiopians coming in and Pakistanis. They are the people that are actually making our business happen and they are successful in it. But there are no people that well, I'm not, I've not, um, I don't know, I, I've angers and Jeng Fune to go to them and ask you how did you make it happen and tell me to make it happen for me. So I, I've had to, I think the biggest challenge for me, 
there isn't a role model or mundengati i look upon this person or i can go to this person to learn from them um the other thing is you know uh, being a young person unemployed um a mother i did not have money to start a business so it was very difficult to finance the day one operations um so and and any in those busi so we we live in a community lab akabanga khona ukuthi ma uqala ukurun a business or ufuna ukuba an entrepreneur when you talk about being an entrepreneur into yabantu abahlulekile um because people believe which you need to study um, find a job and then was with good security but with what i'm doing it's starting from scratch i'm getting my hands dirty and i don't know if i'll if i'll if i if i'll afford to buy a big car next week but the the passion for for what i do and the fact that i'm a self starter and i'm seeing growth already i'm i'm really motivated to keep going on and to dream and to believe that i'm a, i'm a pupa wa me are a possible to achieve that's incredible you're a very inspiring young person now what brought what brought about the idea to get into business as you say um your community everybody you know would expect a person like you to want to go to school varsity graduate and go and work well, what happened with you did you go to university after matric what, what what was your story so i actually went to study e i i studied theology <laughs> so many people think okay what happened we were still we were waiting for a pastor um <laughs> <laughs> and life happened the season in in that i found myself in center when a very dark where i had to i don't really want to speak about the personal story but something big happened that changed my life and i had a little baby about finally getting in kulise but the father was not around and uh umsebenzi na ubungeko i decided one day which you know what i'm going to put my pride aside i'm going to forget about everything i'm going to go in your tiny box la maqanda resell and ngibone ukuthi kwenzekani before that i had tried other things before and what did one you day, try? i want to know the journey tell me the story don't be afraid to tell me what did you try what did not work because we all go through a lot of things you know there was a time where i thought i would make ama sandwiches you were telling me say taxi rank and i did that but bongana mali to sustain what i was doing mm. i tried to get into um e business lena by biza kuthi make e network marketing but i did not have enough capital to actually to sustain um the idea and indaba nje ngayibona ukuthi mhlambizo ngilekelela indaba yamaqanda in fact somebody came a kaya and this guy wanted to recruit me for something else at you know you've always been a young person or who's out there on a voice and young people listen to you we want you to come into a space a politic and i was like i don't think you're ready for that manje into ngifuna ukuyenza is to find myself to rediscover myself and nokuzakha kabusha angibuza ukuthi ufuna ukwenzana ngathi mina ngifuna ukuba ne farm yenkukhu as you call up because i don't know uzoqala ngithengisa amaqanda then uzobona ama ngithengisa amaqanda ukuthi ngiyofika kaphi angincedisa sisithi ngithengisa amaqanda amaqanda ngesizulu amaqanda noqanda qanda amaqanda amaqanda okay so one like a little tiny box lokuqala um bengena imali to start um one night the one thing in the box look at a box in look at and i was going back to the back you know what i'm telling you i'm a box i truly be a land like because he had a transport and he worked at luzani and now it was a producer yeah um we did that i'm saying it's a matanda i move a hamba masinyani i went on facebook i told people about what i was doing everyone they got interested people gave me orders which no if we are deliver please in literally 60 amaqanda i did that ngakwazi ukuhambisa amaboxa ngo2 ngeviki 1 and i decided no man ngathi this is moving Mama, then ibokseli um, 1 lamaqanda lithengisa malini bolu thengisa malini that time so umthengisa ama trays umthengisa ama trays i tray lami ngiqale ngalithengisa nge45 rand ngoba ngiqale unyaka kuphelile so i tray lami ngilithengisa nge45 rand and ngakwazi ukuhambisa ibox ibox elikhulu linama tray yango12 
So I'm a trying to have two days. I'm two days. So I'm a trace uh, uh, 360 times two. I was with Hambi Sif beginning a rapella and I was like, I think in the hub. I then went on the internet, started looking up in the West State Design farms that produce eggs. Then I called people, but tell the stories I'm with, you know what, new mundo song, funu things I'm a kanda. Bang nigama quotations, I went, I hired Iveni, my utenga matra ama box in Germany, brought them home started going door to door telling people guys in things are my hand um in tolo's corner is is things are my hand but i think there was something different in army in fact which i went them is in saban to door to door yeah I told them you know what in things are my hand and a fresh my hand was quite cool my brother because i went to the source uh so people were very um excited about that and be but and i'm something i'm going to approach in a corner um and then I started looking up in the Bayoguchi man, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, I then decided, I spoke to a friend, I'm telling you, this is what I want to do. Friend Yami, Vegas Estates at the time. What you know what? Ufuna Malini, I'm telling you, one assistant is that what the hamburg girls think in Cook. Minaman thing in Cook's boo, Bengi, and the impression you're going to cook one is a Begama can't like three. So you thought one chicken will lay three eggs, ne? And yes. that's what happened. So I bought 20. I bought 20 and when I got home, different story. In Kukwe one big candy one Milan. Okay. So the plan I I so humbling and tell a big linden a con. But I I learned to keep in Kuku from the 20. Uh fund which is Nagel and Jani, means feed and jan, which is in Begela Matanda, and it twenty ya ten is in Kuku. So yeah, see, we are very small uh, uh, at the moment. We are operating Gupek Yat Yami, but Guna my plans to expand. And you know, some people are looking at me, and I'm a funding agencies are starting to approach to say, We like what you're doing. How can we assist? Wow, from a trail one Lamakanda. Yes. Yes. No beggar, he pride I'm assigned, and also beggar want to like you because we've seen you. Uh, umenzi leni, umu DJs boo, but you, you was it to take that away and push what you believe in. So, yeah, looking at people like you, following people like you, the story zako. Um, kung yenzen amgas boza with new uban men. Ugnafuni to put my pride away and ningening things I'm and pushing all over this season. So I believe in what I'm doing and and in one of my results there is growth and possibility which is scale and um, we want to hire. We want to hire people. Mm, so high yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> September. I'm very excited about that. Yes. I, I think yes, it means we... that people admire you. I think people see um, a leader in you for some of your um, peers to come to you and recruit you to get into politics. It means there is this something that they see about you. What type of a child were you in primary school and what type of a child were you in high school that you would think would the other people sort of see some leadership qualities in you? Even even yourself, the fact that you even believe in yourself so much that you would even get into your own um, chicken farming or egg business. There is this thing about you. What do you think it is? Um, so, I was very shy, but I, I was around people about like my teachers, they believed in me, and I think Beba Bona ama leadership qualities gave me, so they always pushed me to be to lead from the front. Um, and that built a, a confidence, yami. Um, I, I, I started a project at the New Bridge Music Institute. Actually, we one interview, I go picking doors about, about the project. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Been um, <laughs> yes, I, I've been I've been hustling. Um so people like Monesh um University, Babona, what I was doing, um, somebody said to me, I am going to speak about you to Mail and Guardian, I'm going to nominate you. But unfortunately, a project delay or um did not find support in the community. We could not sustain the idea. So 
into your guti, I was emotivation also, I think, me chola go confidence ya me. I, when something falls apart, or inga sebenzi, I am shali lapo. I am always ready to reinvent myself to try something new. And I've tried, like I told you, more than five ideas. And this one, there is something very different in Ayo. But the other thing that excites me about it is that ni fundile ni wega nengi. So saying fundile, funda ma lessons ama nengi, funde ubus bela also to look to myself kala for support for investment i must invest game in color before abanya bantu they can come invest game so people ba ba peg is interest fun and less and abantu you know each any am has always been in public so man manyi wa bantu babonile and nokuthi ngwazi lokuvuka i think that motivates people and iba attractor to to leboha and then that's a sign of a strong character clearly you have to be rooted in god or in god there has to be somewhere mm. where you get that strength because it's not easy for people to for you for a person to fall especially in public i don't want to use the word fall maybe that's the for lack of a better word we we'll use that um you know mm. to to rise and do well in the in people's eyes and then maybe go through those challenges and come back up how did you lift yourself, yourself up where did you get that source of strength from it was god for me it was it was god my faith in in god um i i went through also a very difficult uh, personal experience and it ate it ate me up uh ngaz question ukuthi ngingubani ngikwenzani but ngikwaze to find myself because i've always had the center which is the person of god the person of jesus christ for me um there was a time where i felt like everyone began rejecter and besing us as getting balegele so having a relationship with god langwazi ubuyela khona and news tole kuti konje ngimubani utheni in his word the promises that he he gave and i i jeremiah 29 verse 11 um it's such a personal um verse for me because lapo god says he knew uh, noma unama plans amahle um noma kungaba nobunzima kwenzekeni but ama plans wakhe mahle akusi ngama plans ukusilimaza nomkuzwisa ukuhlunga ukodwa abanga ama plans ukusiphumelelisa nokusiphiksasa so I, i i had to go back to that scripture and really ngithatha impilo yami and I went through all the, the, the difficult things because and rejection so redirection I had to experience a difficult time attaining was good taller because also some be saying comfortable with the music though they singing a cool as a person so um I'm grateful for my lessons is the banana now no me hlangane nawo mbilonyana because if bonke singama lessons engibuya ku I don't think excellent ngabe yaphila so ngwaze to give birth to excellent because of what I went through that is incredible you're such a strong human being and I see you going very far young as you are and congratulations to all of your successes and just keep on being strong and then covid-19 happened this year while you thought to go to excellent was pushing and pumping how did it affect the yeah. excellent the e- covid-19 so because our business is centered or it is like cool on um door to door deliveries with the with the restrictions that came with the with covid-19 besinga kwazi kuvela isiphume siye last thunder con so that became a bit of a challenge because now uh we could not we could not travel in the labest standard con but something else a be positive abantu they could they did not want to go and stand go long queues go we dollars in gold to buy eggs so we became an alternative people came and also we we had e e reach to a new market abantu besinga baze so msebenzi wethu right now is that see saki relationship enhle nabo bangasabuyele idollars in gold bahlale excellent I like that that is very smart. Now mm-hmm. 360 Global Solutions group came with an amazing uh grant. 
of 400,000 um, together with the partnership NITE, the Hustlers Corner. And you are obviously one of our winners. You are getting 20,000 rands. Not for you though, for your business. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> How is that going to be? Thank you. In um, helping, e -E, um, helping save your business, excellent. How is the 20,000 rent going to contribute? So E20,000 is going to open so many doors for us. One, I spoke about in the buyer delivery. So because I was using e wheelbarrow to go and make deliveries, I'm now going to invest in my bicycles, I2 and my trailer to do our local deliveries and we want to get we since we have the online store and we have a pickup uh, center where people can walk in and pick up we also think guchi ukuba visible no puma gear labantu bakhona na say ndawe nezpitizelayo that will help to take excellent out here abantu bagcine basazi so we want to like get a mobile store so the 20000 is going to assist us to build that um what else? I'm I'm also thinking in the branding. We need to brand so that Sibe visible enough. Are you already on social media? Yes, I am. I am. I am. Uh, I get a lot of my clients with social media. Facebook has been really wonderful. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm available with social media. And and what are those platforms on social media? What are your handles? Okay. On Twitter, I'm at Lee Wamasheho, and on Facebook, Kilebo Masheho. Um, we have a page for e Excellent on Facebook, it's excellent. And we have your website, www.excellent.com.za. Okay, the Facebook page is excellent. Oh, egg, now I'm at the EGG. Yes, yes, excellent. E double G, yes, best excellent. S E double L E N T. What a creative name. How did you think of that name? <laughs> Yo, the name was actually someone who had one compliment because I was running without a name, to be honest. Um, I, I, I was pushing, and you know what he gave me this person. Wow, you are so excellent. And I thought, okay, excellent. We are in the spaces of work and also produce and we want excellence. We want to maintain standards of excellence. So why not join the two concepts or the two ideas? And that's how excellent was born. And something that I just we produce eggs yeah. and they are excellent. Yes, it's eggs and they're excellent. And something that I just picked up now, I don't know if you, you, you have picked it up, which I'll just um, contribute in it as well. From egg, the excellent, the first cell, you are selling the eggs. Eggs that are oh. being sold. So it's egg cell lent. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and your eggs are also entertaining because the end at the end. And <laughs> so play so many play on your words. That's why I say it's such a creative word. And have you trained? I was sleeping on that. Become a very big friend, you know? Thank you, Spoo. Thank you so much. Um, we sell to everyone in the country only for uh, my deliveries that uh, uh, um, for one day like pale at the moment. But we do want to to become a brand that is trusted both in Bumalanga and Gauteng and nationwide at some stage. So right now you do you do your sales through your website, excellent Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm so proud of you, my sister. Congratulations and all the best. I'm putting this 20,000 rands to good use. I will see you very soon at the top. And then lastly, I will send you this video in about 10 years time. Look in the camera and speak to, your, um, to yourself 10 years from today. What would you like to say to yourself? Lebo, uh, you are excellent. You are strong. Look at what you've achieved and your success, Yako, is not only yours alone, but you've done this for so many young people, women also, who've been watching you. Thank you so much for showing Abante that nothing is impossible. If you can put your mind to it, you can achieve it. Well done. Congratulations, Lebu Mashiko. We are so proud of you. A young person who was named in 2016, one of 200 male and guardians, um, young people to look out for. She has started her business about 380 days ago, almost two years ago. 
Before that, she was doing other things. She has been an entrepreneur through and through, and she keeps surviving and fighting through. And we are slowly starting to see her growth. We are part of the Hustlers Corner and as 360 Global Solutions Group. And um, we are proud of you. And thank you for sharing to us. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And thank you to everyone that's following this conversation. Thank you, Spoo. All the best. We are checking you out even on Facebook. We are live on even on my Facebook. This video will be up on YouTube in an hour or so. And you're also live on my Fine. Facebook Live. Go check out, go check it out on DJ Spoo on Facebook. I will. People are impressed. Go check out what the comments, what people are saying out there about you and how your story, how inspirational your story is. And I also find you very inspirational, my sister. Like Thank you very much once again, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for choosing me for this opportunity. Thank you. You've changed my life. Guys, young people are doing great things with their lives out there. The question is, what are you doing with your life? Like, share, subscribe. Be a part of the Hustlers Corner movement. And um, let's all grow together and build these businesses. Let's build these brands. Let's build these side hustles. And let us create wealth for our black families and our future generations to come. May God bless you.